Guys, there's nothing that puts a smile on my face more than seeing leftists get triggered, right? Seeing them get all bent out of shape because of some law that passed that they don't agree with, right? Seeing them whine, cry, and complain and go out here and advocate for things that truly do not make sense for the causes that they say that they are for, okay? It, it, it's, it's, it's pretty hilarious to see it. Now, you know, a lot of these leftists, again, are, are triggered about this, uh, you know, heartbeat bill from uh, the Texas uh, legislature and the fact that the Supreme Court chose to let it slide, okay? And a lot of people see this as a um, pathway to getting rid of uh, Roe v. Wade, okay? That, that's what they see. So again, the people on the left are freaking out. And also on top of that, they see this as an opportunity to shift attention and focus away from Afghanistan, right? To stop talking about how bad uh, Biden messed up that situation. So now they want to be outraged about this whole abortion thing, right? The same issue that, again, people on the left love to claim this. It's not that big of a deal, right? Oh, it's not that big of a deal. It's, it's just an issue on the right that, you know, religious folks have, right? But again, these are the people that's most outraged about this law that doesn't even ban abortion, okay? It doesn't even ban abortion, right? So the latest outrage comes from Miss uh, Betty Midler. I think that's how you pronounce her name. Um, as she calls for a sex strike. Quote, all women refuse to have sex with men over Texas abortion law. Now, I'm gonna admit, I don't know who this person is. Apparently she's a singer, she's an actress. Guys, I already told you, I don't watch TV, right? I don't even own a TV. Right, maybe I will one day, okay? But I, I don't even watch TV, so I don't even know half these people, right? But you know, apparently she's she's some type of famous person in Hollywood. So let's read here. Left wing actress Bedley Miller suggests all women refuse to have sex with men in reaction to the Texas heartbeat law, which bans most uh, abortions after six weeks of pregnancy. Quote, I suggest that all women refuse to have sex with men until they are guaranteed the right to choose by Congress. The loose woman actress tweeted on <laughs> Thursday. <laughs> all right. So you have a, uh, a, a loose woman actress, right? Loose women actress who is 75 years old, by the way, uh, up there in age. Uh, she's suggesting that women should refuse to have sex with men until they're guaranteed the, quote, right to choose by Congress. So somebody help me make sense of this. Somebody help me make sense of this. Because um, if women choose to stop having sex with men over this bill, uh, wouldn't that mean that there are less abortions, <laughs> right? And because there are less abortions, isn't that what people who are against abortion want right isn't that the desired outcome right isn't abstinence something that a lot of people who are again a, a, against abortion preach right it, isn't that what they want right so so essentially what you're saying is that because we can't get our way um we're just going to go ahead and just stop having sex with men as is punishment when these same people that you're trying to stick it to have been advocating for uh abstinence in the first place right there, there's a lot of people that are like oh wait you you shouldn't be having sex at all or that you you shouldn't be having it out of wedlock put it that way you shouldn't be having sex out of wedlock at all there's a lot of people that feel that way so for these far left feminists to come out here and to advocate for not having sex uh to me again it <laughs> you're just kind of making it easier right you kind of make it easier Right, because one, you're doing what people have been advocating for first and foremost, and then on top of that, uh, there's less abortions. So thank you so much, Betty. Right, thank you so much for your wonderful idea. But I'm sure, as old as you are, this won't be an issue for you. <laughs> this won't be an issue, okay? Because you, you know, you you might have been a, a loose woman in the past, <laughs> but now you're probably a dry woman okay so i mean so this probably won't be too much of an issue for you okay probably won't be that much of an issue for you right <laughs> so let's read more here the freak show actress isn't the first uh activist celebrity to suggest a sex strike in response to such legislation in 2019 actress and left-wing activist Alyssa milano urged women to abstain from sex with men claiming reproductive rights are being erased quote until women have legal control 
over our own bodies we cannot risk uh pregnancy the actress added join me by not having sex until we get bodily autonomy back i'm calling for a quote sex strike pass it on bro i love the framing from the left on this right i love the framing because these women claim we don't have control of our bodies and i'm like no, you actually do because one, again, you can choose to not have sex. But again, guys, I already told you, I live in the real world. I, I understand that people are going to have sex. That's why I'm like, eh, like, I, you know, I can be against abortion, but I can't in good faith be against birth control, knowing that that's what human nature is. People are going to have sex, right? And there are negative consequences and externalities uh, to people having kids out of wedlock and people having kids when they're not ready to have kids. Okay, so I realized that. And I'm going to keep it 100 with you guys, right? As the physical conservative in me says, I don't want to pay for that. I don't want to pay for uh, somebody else's mistakes. That is a cost on society, right? And because I, I want to keep my money, right? And I don't want to pay for people who are irresponsible. Um, I think contraceptives being uh, readily available for people who want them makes sense. And for the most part, they are readily available for people who want them. I mean, anybody can go and buy a condom over the counter. So again, as a woman, you do have access to birth control if you want it. Um, you can use condoms. Um, there's all type of contraceptives and things that are available to avoid getting pregnant in the first place. So you have a choice, right? You can not have sex or you can use a contraceptive, right? Like everything is there, okay? Like you you have a choice. And yes, I do realize that contraceptives are not 100% effective, but like 99.99% effective if you actually use them right, right? If you use them right, uh, it is very, very unlikely uh, that you will get pregnant. Again, if you're using them right, that's where personal responsibility comes in, right? And if you are not personally responsible enough to use it correctly, right then again sometimes you just have to suffer the consequences right there are consequences of things in life you're not always gonna be able to get a mulligan right if you end up you know getting pregnant or whatever you know even if you were using a contraceptive whether you're using it right or you was using it wrong i mean look as long as they're not a danger to the mother's life in my opinion i mean I, you just have to you have to deal with it right i don't think it's fair to take another life you know just because you know you wanted to have a, a bunch of sex, right? I mean, it is what it is. I'm just saying. Now, you know, listen, I mean, the thing is that these people are getting so upset about is this idea that, well, you know, um, I don't have a choice when it comes to uh, another life. And it's like, yeah, no, you don't have a choice when it comes to another life, right? You know, if you believe that life begins at conception, which a lot of people do, then, you know, you would think that, okay, well, this life is precious and that, you know, it's wrong to uh, end a life, okay, without that life being able to consent to that, right? And, and a lot of these people on the left want to use the dependency argument. They want to say, well, th that life is dependent on the woman, right? The life is dependent on the woman, so therefore that, that life doesn't have a choice, and I don't, I don't buy into that. There's a lot of lives that are dependent, right? Children are dependent on their parents. Does that mean that parents should be allowed to kill their children because they're dependent on their parents? No, right? Again, think about it. A baby, when a baby is born, cannot live without their mother, right? They can't hunt. They can't get their own food. They can't feed themselves. They are dependent on the mother. Does that mean that it's okay to kill a baby that has already been born? I think most reasonable people would say no, okay? So does it make that right if the baby has not been born? Just because the baby is dependent on the mother, right? The mother's body? Of course not, right? You can apply the same logic there, okay? So also here on Thursday, pop star chair reacted to Texas law by trivializing the barbaric oppression women in uh, Muslim majority countries, uh, nations face when she compared it to the Texas law stating, wondering when Texas Senate will start uh, mandating burqas. And then down here it says, Milano and other stars, including Mike and Moore, Amy Schumer, uh, Julia Luis Dreyfus, Dave Batista, and Amy uh, Brenneman have reacted similarly, dubbing Texas lawmakers the Texas Taliban and accusing them of enacting Sharia law. <laughs> oh my goodness. Okay, so again, here they are trying to compare people on the right to the Taliban and stuff like that. And again, guys, like I said in my video when I talked about uh, 
Sink Yogurt trying to do this same thing, trying to compare uh, people on the right to the Taliban, calling the Christian Taliban. It's like, you're ignorant, right? You don't even know what you're talking about. Because again, abortion is not that restricted in Muslim countries, right? They're not that strict about it. Again, according to the liberal Washington Post, a majority of medieval Muslim scholars believe that Islamic law allowed the termination of a pregnancy before 120 days because they believe that after 120 days, that's when the um, fetus uh, has an actual soul, okay? That's when it has a soul. And that is part of the reason why that in the Islamic world, there's <laughs> quite a bit of countries that don't really have all that strict of law in regards to abortion comparatively to what you know we're talking about here in the united states so again these people have a fundamental misunderstanding of uh islam right and and, and what the position is on abortion but they just want to be quick to compare people on the right to religious extremists right which again like i said indicates that these people have an issue with religion they have a problem with religion okay a lot of this whole like you know abortion stuff a lot of the pushback is these people basically backlashing against religion that's all it is that's all it is that's why they're so quick to want to make comparisons between uh people on the right and in and, and the, and the taliban right it, religious extremism right that, that's what they want to do and again it's, it's really disrespectful disrespectful to um those women who are actually suffering under some of the religious extremism that goes on in the Middle East, right? Like what's happening in Afghanistan. And a bunch of these people, I guarantee you, a lot of these people said nothing about the fact that uh, Joe Biden essentially abandoned all those women in Afghanistan, right? His screw up in Afghanistan has led to uh, a ton of women in Afghanistan that are going to uh, suffer under real religious re extremism. That's not something that you see here in America, right? Nobody's saying that women can't work here in America. Nobody is stoning people because of their sexuality. Nobody is putting people to death because they don't want to be Christian or because they have sex out of wedlock. Nobody is advocating for that here in America. The only thing some people are saying is that, listen, we should not be ending life before it's born, right? That, that's what a lot of people are saying. But for, for whatever reason, these people, these same people who claim they don't, they don't care about this issue so much, they get so triggered because they can't do that anymore, right? Because, oh, I need to be responsible when it comes to uh, using uh, contraceptives and making sure that I don't get pregnant. <laughs> but for that reason, again, that, that seems like a huge task to them. That seems like it's so hard to them. It's so difficult. Again, Texas, they're not even banning it. Worst case scenario... Uh, you can go to another state, right? Worst case scenario, go to a blue state. If you really want to get rid of it that bad, you can drive to a blue state and do it. It's really that simple. So again, the outrage, again, in my opinion, is, is just really their opportunity to outrage against religion because a lot of these people don't like religion. That's all it is. But let me know what you guys think. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. Most importantly, share a black conservative perspective. Peace.